it on here. We're gonna do one more time, one more San Diego jam on the Mad Eel. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Through the bottom hole. And then back out through the top. Nice San Diego jam right there, ready to go. You just trim off a little bit of excess line right there. Trim that right off of there. So it looks nice and clean in the water. And then throw that baby into a foamer and tell me you don't get a bite. That's the mad eel, gang. Toss that right into a foamer. Woo! When you fish this, you're gonna throw it in the foamer, let it sink, but keep the reel in gear. As it's sinking down there, it's swimming as it's sinking. You get bit, you just whine. You do not swing. The biggest problem is people are gonna swing on these things and you're gonna pull the bait right out of the fish's zone where he's gonna eat it. But look at that thing swim. That thing swims so good. Looks like an anchovy swimming through the water. Those big bluefin are gonna jump right on that gang. Okay. The smaller gray bluefin, I would use your pencil flanker. When you get to that bigger gray bluefin, I'm gonna use this uh, bitchin', excuse me, wing stick bait. If you look at this thing, it's got like a little spinner on the back. It's all gonna work in conjunction. These things look just like the anchovies that all the bluefin are feeding on out there right now. And it's about matching the hatch. And if you look real close at the back, you'll see a little bit of red sparkle mm -hmm. in there. That's gonna also help to get a bite when they're above it. They're gonna light up on it because it's gonna look like a red crab sinking down in the water column. But from underneath, it's gonna look just like an anchovy. Now I'm gonna take this over. I'm gonna tie it to 60 pound floral. I'm tying this right to straight tying it. No swivels, no beads, straight tying. Why? Because that's how these are made. They're made to be straight tied. You do not want to swivel on there because now the fish is going to see the swivel. You're going to straight tie this with the San Diego jam knot. Okay. Go around seven times. Go through the bottom hole. And then back out through where we had the little pinch in the line where we have right up here. We go through that little hole on the top. Get in there and look. Go through that little hole on the top. We're going to pull it all together nice and tight. Slide that San Diego jam right down to the hook. It's ready to go for another fish. So look, this wing stick bait is going to emanate, imitate the uh, anchovies that are out there on those big schools. So we're going to toss this thing in the water. Look at it. Look at it. And you're going to jerk this through the water. And it's going to look just like an anchovy swimming around out there. And they are going to inhale this. See how it swims? That's how you want to just fish it. Just give it a little tug, wind the slack in, give it a little tug, wind the slack in, and get ready. Have your drag hammer down, 60 pound floral or 80 pound. Why? Because it's a reactionary bite. They're not going to have a tendency to see the line, but you're going to want to pull on them extremely hard. These hooks, heavy duty, four aught hooks that come with these things with this little spinner on the bottom of them, these things work phenomenal. These wing, these wing stick baits are absolutely phenomenal for fishing these tuna when they're out there on the surface or subsurface, just below the surface. When you see a foamer and then it goes away, Throw this right where it was. This is going to sink down into that water column. Give it a little jerk jerk and you got to hang on because you're going to get a nice big blue fin. You're going to want to make sure you're in gear and hammered down. Always keep the slack out of your line when you're fishing these tight head prop stick wing stick baits. Make sure you're ready. Okay. One more thing I'm going to show you. Okay, you're on the sport boat. And they have that sardine for bait. We're going to fly line with a four-aught circle hook for the sardines. 
and I'm gonna tie this on. This is how I tie it, seven times around, through the bottom hole, back out through the top, San Diego Jam. Nice and tight. Why the four-aught thin wire hook? Because that sardine isn't like the mackerel that we showed you last week. That sardine's gonna have a hard time swimming that mackerel around. So we're gonna go with these smaller four-aught circle hooks, straight tied right to the line. Look it, no swivels, no beads. It's tied right to the end of my line, right to the end of it, okay? And that's how we're gonna fly line our sardines with the circle hook because of the fact that we want to hook those tuna in the corner of their mouth. That is the way. And I always use a piece of floral carbon because they have so many teeth. Those bluefin have so many teeth, they're gonna have a tendency to bite you off. So there you go, gang. That's a couple more techniques for fishing that bluefin in Southern California.